young people, we are deeply concerned about the state of the world and the destructive, oppressive, and violent systems that threaten our futures. First, I want to acknowledge that we are here today on Tiwa land, and I also want to extend a thank you to our Tiwa relatives for hosting us here and for allowing us to join in in the ongoing struggle against nuclear colonialism in these territories. The nuclear industry has a violent history in terms of manufacturing, weapons, and energy in this state. And as indigenous young people, we know better than anyone else that we have been the ones to deal with the detrimental impacts of uranium contamination and nuclear fallout. New Mexico deserves better than to be a nuclear dumping ground. Your children deserve better than to live in the fallout of nuclear testing and waste. Now, in the midst of an energy transition, corporations are propping up nuclear energy as a carbon-free, clean solution to oil and gas. But that couldn't be further from the truth. Claiming nuclear energy as a solution erases its long, devastating history that unites us from New Mexico to Japan. Now, more than ever, we need comprehensive and immediate climate action. Nuclear will not be our saving grace as it has caused immense pain and suffering for thousands of people and for hundreds of generations to come. Do not be deceived to accept this as a solution to the climate crisis, but rather resist this industry's greedy intentions to prolong their profits. We need to let our leadership know that we will not replace oil and gas with another extractive industry, that we will not accept nuclear as a part of our energy future, and that we have a different vision, and that we are demanding climate and environmental justice and peace and will not settle for anything less. What am I supposed to do with the fear and the hate I had with some men in blue? The low flying angels have taken it away. There's nothing that I can use. There.